Okay, so this is going to be part two of the portfolio design with a client project. And again, we were using Reloom to go ahead and design and develop this. And uh, just to recap on the last one, the reason why we're using Reloom is to give us a great base uh, to get to start at 80% and help us get through a lot of the information architecture really quickly and then start going into the design process so we can get to market a lot faster. A little bit about the project again, uh, we're doing an interior design portfolio uh, for a client of ours and we're gonna go ahead and walk through the design process. And so I'll go ahead and introduce the project, uh, we're gonna recap what we did last time and then go into the design as well. Okay, so I'm doing this one a little differently and mainly because I did film going over, like through the whole design process, but uh, you would have had to get popcorn, sit back and relax for that one. So instead of um, having you spend over an hour watching that, I decided to go ahead and do it this way, um, just to be mindful of your time and and uh, for you to be able to, if we take something, go to action as well. So I'm actually gonna break down the design for you, talk you through some of the decisions and walk you through that, kind of what came out of using Reloom. Um, and again, go over the project and show you what I'm gonna start developing as well. And so now this is actually um, after the client has seen it and it's been approved. So I'm gonna go ahead and talk you through that too. Okay, so now we're hopping into Figma here. We can see the, the designs. So really, I mainly focus on the homepage of the projects. Um, you know, the blog, again, is going to follow a similar thing to the projects here, and uh, the design language will, will follow over as well. So first, let's talk about the brief. So the, the goal here, one, is to get to market quickly, okay? So we're not trying to create a, an award-winning site or something like that because we just need to get this thing out so we can start getting clients in and they can see a body of work. Um, so time is of importance here, and that's where Reloom really helped and getting us components that were already pretty much matching the, the scope of what we're trying to achieve for this design. So it worked out really nice in that way. Um, kind of felt like cheating. We didn't need to really change much. Um, we we're just kind of putting a little bit of the touch of what the client wants to represent as well into this design. So we're gonna look at the homepage. Now uh, Figma does something pretty nice here and makes this mock-up uh, to go ahead and view the work. So I'm gonna go ahead and scroll through this here and like as if you know, would be showing the client, if you will. So we start at the home page. Now, uh, again, this is these are all of the Reloom components. I try my best to use all the components here for this. So we start off. Um, you know, this doesn't have to say this, but again, we're going with this more script type, uh, just for you know, headlines and something to kind of really show the the style of of uh, the company, um, just to make it feel a little bit more homey and have a little bit more feminine touch as well. Uh, that's pretty important to her. And then uh, really I wanted to have some clear call to action. So we see at the top, uh, pretty simple nav bar here and start project. So that'll take us down to the contacts and then we're gonna have uh, view our work right here. So straight to viewing our work, if people wanna get straight to really see what we've done, that happens a lot. People just wanna see what we've done and then services so they can see our services, right? But you're getting a nice image that represents what uh, the company wants to show. So we're actually gonna need to capture some content for this. Um, this is just an unsplashed image that happened to work out really well. So now we scroll down and I do have um, the flower that is uh, pretty important to the owner as well, just kind of slightly um, in there showing it a little bit. It's just a nice little detail, a little light coming down and, and bringing us right into customer testimonials. So since the company's fairly new and they have done some work in the past, uh, we feel it's important to go ahead and show the reviews so people already know um, that you know she's established and she has done some work and people were happy with it, of course. So and then we'll come down here and obviously here we, we really want to create some space in between everything. That was um, something that we're trying to do is just to make it feel, uh, sort of translate the idea of the, of how we design interiors and structure and creating space and making it feel open, kind of translating that through the site as well. We just want that philosophy to transfer through everything we're creating here. So we'll get, into the uh, second part here, and then we're gonna have some of the services. So um, I pulled these icons from something we used in the past and they did fit the style of this. So it worked out nicely. Just an image of some work they've done before and then going through the, um, the services they offer here, just going through in detail with them. And then we can also here see viewer work, which I should take you right down here or the project page and then start a project. Again, give us some more call to action. That's really important, let people know what they need to do instead of having them think through it. Come down to projects, okay? 
And so pretty simple, we just, you know, we want the image to take front stage here. So we have different imagery of, of projects here. I pulled a few off their, um, from their work and it's an exterior of a house. And even though these are the same, it's just for example, for now, and these two are the same as well. And I want the hover state to be here. So animate up and then have um, the name of the project in here too. We experimented with using this type, but it just felt busy and, and didn't look right. So um, kind of landed on using the other, the secondary type object sends and um, just having it nice thinly set. And so again, pretty simple here. These will take you into your projects. Let me come down and we'll have our blog here too. So something that we're gonna put a lot more importance on um, as part of like a content strategy and marketing is gonna be actually be a blog. So lean a lot into creating different content for the homeowners, people who are trying to do some stuff themselves, um, don't have a budget to hire an interior designer, but just wanna learn and try. Um, go ahead and start creating a blog there and content to help out others. And this one's pretty simple. Again, just going with like the, the line weights and the, um, these thin lines, they, they do play into the style as well. And they kind of match nicely with um, using this, this script type that we have as like title details. Okay. And then the view all button here. And then last we get into contact us. So contact us, we're going to have pretty simple, just of course the emails, things that you can use either visit us or, or call the company directly. And then on the right, we're going to have um, a bigger, you know, more, essentially a little bit more complex like contact menu, but because we need to capture a lot of information. So one, we need to see what service we're looking for and try to get like more of the style they're doing to see if we'd be a good fit for them or get to know a little bit more about them right off the bat. And then they can describe the project that they're thinking in mind. And also we need their contact information. So their phone number, email, um, first and last name so we can know who we're talking to as well. And then we'll come down to the footer here. So we went ahead and put that flower again down here in the bottom, just as a subtle detail in the bottom. Um, we feel like it needed just a little bit of something down there and I, we think that worked nice uh, having this in the bottom of the page, just hitting the end and then you know, playing with that a little bit too. And then again, this is just gonna take us through the different pages here, nothing too crazy. And then the social media links here as well, uh, the logo down here. Okay, and so that was kind of walking through it. Um, you can see we do have a project page here too. So we'll come in and we'll see the gallery, you know, the title of the project, the client name, um, any other links that we need to link down to will be here. And then we do have like photography of the project and then we'll talk through it if needed. And then again, a contact us page that's gonna match the one uh, that's gonna be on the homepage is gonna be here too. Same thing, they see some work and they're like, okay, I like them. Let's go ahead and give them a, um, give them a shout. But okay, you can see that the Relim components actually got us pretty far along the way. Um, one, they're already really nicely designed, so that really helps out. Um, in this case, it, keeping everything a little more minimal uh, was really one of our priorities and one of the client's priorities as well, helping it feel open, and the components already did that. And the components were already nicely laid out to where I didn't have to do much work and because they did a lot of the work for us in this sense. Like I said, this one isn't like trying to do a crazy award-winning site. Um, which they have their place, but just to get to market quickly, uh, this was important for us to do. And so total, we probably only spent, you know, uh, two to three hours designing this out the way we kind of want it. And so you can tell that it's cut us back a lot of time and helping us get to market a lot faster. And they have already worked out, you know, the paragraph styles, creating clear headings and um, really bringing the eye where to look. And a lot of this hard work is already done for you if you're not quite used to doing that. And so that's the, the good part here. And so we do have some nice clear contrast with the headings. We know what these headings are gonna be, seeing them here. Um, we're only using them in those uh, sense, in those scenarios. And then we're pairing this with a really nice sans serif font, um, just so there is nice contrast and everything is still legible. I mean, we can't use that script handwritten one all over the site because then it starts to get a little hard to read and uh, starts to really tire you out. It gets really old really fast. So. We stuck with a sans serif, something that contrasts nicely with this here. And so the feedback was really great. After presenting this to her, walking her through the, um, essentially you know, a prototype here like this, letting her see it as if she was scrolling through a laptop on her own. Um, she loved it. Right off the bat, she had loved everything already. And so you can tell that thankfully Relium did a lot of the hard work for us initially in this case, and allowing us to, to get faster. But hopefully that helps give you a little bit of an insight into designing this. Um, again, I'm not really, teaching you how to design in this one. I'm trying to go over a little bit of design concepts here. Again, creating clear space and 
uh, letting people know that this is the next section, right? That these are specified areas. Same thing that's important in architecture as well, which is a big thing we're working with in this project. So there's designated zones for each part of the house, essentially, you know, eating, living, hanging out. They all have their, their clear separations, even though they're all together. And that's also holds true here in, in UI UX design as well. And the second important part here too, is just clear call to actions. I see a lot of time that's what's kind of lacking on um, some sites that need are more service or product based is make it known, let them know what they need to do and don't make them hunt or look for it or work for it. Just if you want them to contact you, put a button there to go ahead and contact you. Um, don't be afraid to have those call to actions. Again, make everything as easy for the user as possible. And that was our, our goal here too. But okay, so now that this was approved, we're gonna move into actually development and production. And so I'm gonna take you through the process of developing in Webflow. Um, and again, hopefully that's fast. I'm gonna try to show you as much of the process as I can to show you how that works. Um, so that video might be a little longer, but I'll work it out and hopefully not have to have you sitting there too long. But at least you'll be able to follow along and go through that development. So we can translate this into a build in Webflow. And again, using the same Reloom library, so we already know the components we use, we'll transfer that over. That'll be in the next video because we want this thing to go live as fast as we can. So I'm gonna go ahead and start moving on to the development phase. And also I'll be showing developing for mobile as well at the same time. So. So in the next one, we're gonna learn a little bit more about the client first system. So how we're gonna do all of our CSS and naming and everything, and then development and Webflow and going through developing for mobile as well. So hopefully this helped you out a little bit and you can kind of see how Reloom is helping us get started. So one, it's helping the client. She's getting a product faster and getting to market faster, which is important for her. She can start making money faster as well as us too. I mean, sped up our workflow, gave us a great starting point. In this case, a really, really great starting point due to this uh, brief. And hopefully it starts working out for you. So whether you're designing your own site for yourself uh, or your designer looking to you know, be a little more of a freelancer and design a site for a client as well. And so again, uh, if there's gonna be any questions that you have for the development side, things you wanna see, um, write it down in the comments below so I can take note of that and go over that in the next video. Um, if there's any questions about the design part here, um, let me know as well. You know, I know I'm not going over how to design in Figma. I'm kind of assuming you already have some of that knowledge. But all right, guys, I'll see you on the next one, and thank you for watching.